Hello, welcome back. It's day 91 and we are um, in the New Testament and uh, we're looking at Luke 8 and the beginning of Luke 9. And um, this, I'm not in the jungle, I'm in fact at the Soul Survivor offices, so you might hear a little bit of noise in the background from time to time. Um, that'll be just everyone partying. Um, but the, we're looking at various scenes today in our passage, but there's just one bit that I really want us to focus on because it's one of my favourite stories in the Bible. And it's the story of the woman who's been bleeding and she knows that Jesus is near and she does a really courageous thing and she starts pushing her way through just to touch the edge of his cloak. That's all she wants. She's not, she's not bothered if she doesn't get any more than that. She just wants her healing and thinks, if I can just get close enough. And... Um, of course, she doesn't just get that. She doesn't just get to touch his cloak because Jesus is not content just that power has gone out of him. Everything that we see about Jesus in the Gospels, everything that's reflected to us in his word is that our God is into relationship. And so he's not just content to heal her. He wants to interact with her. He wants to affirm her. He wants to speak um, good things into her wounded heart. This woman has been bleeding for 12 years. And in all that time, that would have meant isolation, uh, she wouldn't have been able to worship with others. She would have been ceremonially unclean and all the stigma that came with that. And um, he, in that moment, not just healed her, but he wiped that stigma away as he draws her in, as he affirms her, as he um, calls her um, to him. Um, and, sorry, I'm looking at the passage there. I was gone for a little while. But one of the things I want to note, uh, just note about that, and it was something that was pointed out to me that has made me love this story even more, is that when we think of this woman pushing through to get to Jesus, we can think of her being like, that's my chance, right, quick, get in there, I'm going to go for it. But she's been bleeding for 12 years, not 12 seconds, not 12 minutes, not even 12 hours or 12 days, but for 12 years, life, life has been dripping out of her. There is no way that that woman ran. There is no way that she pegged it. She used whatever strength she had left to get to Jesus and she made it. And um, sometimes um, we can think of this relationship with Jesus, this journey with God as um, a race. The Bible in fact talks about it being like a race, but it isn't race that is determined by speed but di by direction. When Paul talks about pressing hold of um, and running the race, he talks about fixing our eyes on Jesus. And that is the direction that we're called to run in. And sometimes it looks like running. Sometimes it looks like crawling. Sometimes it looks like walking very slowly. And as I say, this, this relationship with, with Jesus, it is not a race. It, sorry, it is a race, but that's not determined by speed. It's determined by direction. If you are facing him, if you are going after him, even if at times and in seasons it feels like you're going slowly, slowly, slowly towards him, as long as you're facing him, it's good enough. Keep going, keep pursuing him, keep your eyes fixed on him. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.